Opryland in Nashville, Tennessee is a great example of how a breakthrough result can be aligned and implemented across multiple levels of an organization. One of the world's largest hotels, it has 14 restaurants, its own police force, and its own power plant. It's like an indoor city. To say they felt pulled in different directions would be an understatement. Opryland's executive team devoted time with us to define their breakthrough result and the wildly important goals or subwigs they needed to achieve that result. They looked at several options, including occupancy rate, revenue flow through, 200 new rooms under construction. Eventually, they agreed that improved guest satisfaction would be the breakthrough result with the biggest impact. At the time, only 42% of guests gave them a perfect top box score, and they'd never been higher than a 44, but they wanted to reach a 55 to help perform their two sister properties, something they had never done before. We always start by asking a key question. What are the fewest number of subwigs necessary to achieve the breakthrough result? Opryland had identified their breakthrough, but they hadn't yet figured out the fewest number of subwigs needed to achieve it. After looking at more than 20 options, they finally narrowed their focus to three. First, problem resolution. It's an indoor city. Something's always going to go wrong. And how employees respond is a big deal. Second, arrival experience. Most people make up their mind about a hotel very quickly, and once they've decided, it's very difficult to get them to change their mind. Finally, food and beverage quality. Because eating off property was difficult and their food could be expensive, they knew if it wasn't excellent, no one was gonna give them a perfect score. The executive team ended up with brief statements describing the three subwigs they needed to achieve, but it took them almost nine hours to get there. It seemed like anyone could have written down all their hard work in 30 seconds on a dinner napkin, but it was not trivial work. This narrowing process allowed them to communicate those three subwigs to 75 functional teams that reported to them. Each of those 75 teams then chose one wig for their team to drive one of those three subwigs. For instance, the housekeeping team chose increased room availability. Apparently, people hate it when the room isn't ready. The front desk chose reduce arrival check-in time. Bell Services chose reduce luggage delivery time because of multiple tour buses leaving piles of luggage in the lobby. Delivery time was at a dismal 106 minutes. Now, if your bag got caught in that pile, you might not see it for a couple of hours. Nine months into implementing the 4DX system with us, Opryland wasn't at a 55 for improved guest satisfaction. They were at a 61. For instance, luggage delivery had dropped from 106 minutes to 12 minutes. Interestingly enough, their two sister properties hadn't moved a tick on guest satisfaction in that same period of time. Remember, Opryland hadn't been higher than a 44. This was almost a 50% net improvement across a gigantic operation. This overwhelming success started at the top level of the organization with one breakthrough result and a few subwigs to achieve that result. And remember, it took nine hours to clarify that focus. It's no surprise that the general manager told us these work sessions were the most valuable time they had ever spent together. When you define a breakthrough result and identify the fewest number of subwigs needed to win, you translate conceptual strategy into simplicity and transparency, the keys to successful execution at the front line.